Earlier during the day, Kazuya dreams of him begging Kira not to leave him instead. He wakes up to find himself touching Shizato in class. As such, Shizato beats Kazuya as his friends. Shuru and Osama watch. After being lectured by Shizato, he heads up to the roof of the school to contemplate about his dream and his mother's obi. As Kazuya prepares to leave, he finds a wig on the floor and attempts to avoid it, but is grabbed by the wig. He's then saved from the wig by an unknown force in Kazuya, hears a voice in his head helping him. As such, the wig tackles Kazuya off the roof of the building. However, as Kazuya falls, he's saved by Kira that girl from his dreams, by creating a cushion and manifesting herself in human form. Afterwards, Kira gives Kazuya a familiar greeting, but Kazuya has no recollection of her. Meanwhile, the Emma host reveals itself and continues their attack on Kazuya. Luckily, Kira saves Kazuya from the Emisoji and she destroys it. As Kazuya tends to the unconscious host, Kira had explains the concept of Emisoji to him. Afterwards, Kazuya blushes at the thought of a girl liking him. Akira tells him how that the host is actually a male cross-dressing as a female. Regardless, Kazuya returns home and greets his sister, Kasumi, before going upstairs to his room. As he thinks about what's happened earlier, he takes a nap. When he wakes up, he finds Kira sleeping with him under his sheets, screams. Kasumi then checks on Kazuya, but he insists that nothing happened, prompting Kasumi to leave. Afterwards, Kira introduces herself to Kazuya as his master. Later, during dinner, Kira starts making loud noises, attracting Kasumi's attention. Regardless, after dinner, Kazuya enters the bath to find Kira bathing, so they bathe together. After bathing, the two Shira Kazuyas bed as they sleep. Meanwhile, Kakoryu observes the curse in the city and receives instruction from a voice on how to act on it. The next morning, Kira attempts to wake Kazuya to no avail, so she starts stomping on him. After, he rushes to class only to be late. Thus, Shizato violently chastises Kazuya for being late where he replies by blaming Kira. It's then revealed that earlier in the morning, Kazuya finds that he's running late due to her destroying his alarm clock. As he rushed out to school, Kira insisted on going with him, causing him to be even more late as he had to leave her in a box. Later, while having lunch with his friends, Kazuya laughs to himself for being able to trick Kira. Meanwhile, Shiro and Osamu talk about the rumors of a ghost sighting. So Shiro fantasizes about using the opportunity to get close to a girl. However, Shizato punishes. Then for Shiro's thoughts, reminding them that they still have work due. Shortly after, Kazuya studies with Shizato in the library and they end up reminiscing about the time they study together as children. Afterwards, she offers to go over to Kazuya's house to help him study, but he declines not wanting her to encounter Kira. As he finishes up his work, he goes to take a book out while Shizato leaves. As Kazuya is taking out books, Kira suddenly appears. Then when Shizato goes to check on him, she informs him that she's unable to open the door. Thus, the two find themselves locked in the library and they're unable to break out with brute force. However, Kira shows herself to the two and Kazuya quickly drags her away to talk in private. Kira then explains Amasoji to Kazuya and she introduces herself to Shizato, explaining the situation to her as well. As such, Kira gives both of them Mitsu to detect Amasoji. Afterwards, Kira attempts to force her way out with her spiral weave. However, the area transforms into a large hall consisting entirely of books, revealing that the entire library are actually Amasoji. Kira is then attacked by the books and a large book column appears and begins to chase them. She realizes that Shizato is the Amasoji's host and has Kazuya recount their previous actions in the library. After realizing that Kazuya's rejection of Shizato's study offered to be the trigger for the Amasoji, Kazuya accepts Shizato's offer to return the library back to normal. After the ordeal, Shizato arrives in his house to study, only to find him sleeping with Kira. She then hits Kazuya and reminds him that she came over to help him study. Shortly after, Shizato gives pudding to Kira and she apologizes for creating an Amasoji. Kira replies by telling her not to blame herself and Kira blames Kukuru for not managing the curse properly. The next day, Shiru is stopped by Kokyu on the streets to ask about Kazuya. 
However, Shiru offers to bring Kanzuya to her for a price. A flashback then occurs showing Kukuru, with Kira sealing Kanzuya's memories at the Hakusen Shrine. Despite the risks it poses to herself, Kira agrees to having Kanzuya's memories sealed. Back in the present, Shiru greets Kanzuya with a dropkick, blaming him for his earlier troubles. Another flashback of the day before explains how Shiru brought Kokyu to a restaurant to eat and when he offered to pay, she ordered everything on the menu. Shiru then tells Kanzuya that he lost all his money and is now in debt to Osamu. Meanwhile, Kanzuya has no idea of who Kokyu could be. Regardless, atop the school building, Kokyu listens to them and remembers her conversation with Kukurid from earlier, where Kukurid wanted her to bring Kanzuya without making a commotion and without Kira. Suddenly, the other classmates begin to scream as they find out that their lunches are gone. Kanzuya then confronts Kira about the missing lunches but is hit in the face. Shizato mentions the possibility of this being an amicity but he instead believes it to be a thief. Randomly, Kokyu bursts through the classroom door with stolen lunches in hand and mouth, demanding Kanzuya's whereabouts. Shiru recognizes Kokyu from earlier but Kokyu does not remember him. She then confronts Kanzuya and orders him to follow her. However, Kira intervenes and the two start to argue. Deciding to settle things via arm wrestling, Kira and Kokyu face off in Suzuro Temple style. Arm wrestling where Kira is found victorious. Afterwards, the group heads towards the Hakuzen Shrine, where Kanzuya finds the path familiar despite having no memories of ever venturing there. Once arriving, Kokyu introduces the group to Kukuri, where Kira had explained that she won the right to come with them after winning the arm wrestle. After a brief argument, Kira quietly confronts Kukuri about the seal starting to weaken. Thus, Kira suggests that she reapply the seal immediately but Kukuri refuses, offering up an alternate solution. She then tells Kanzuya that he'll become the region's exorcist. But Kira rejects the idea. She continues on to tell Kanzuya that he's the one responsible for the recent occurrences of Emma Soji. Suddenly, Kira tries to run away with Kanzuya, but they get locked in by a barrier. At the same time, Kokyu carries Chisato into the air and Kokyuri prepares to battle Kira and Kanzuya. In response, Kira tries to fly away with Kanzuya but she gets knocked down, where Kukuri engulfs them in water. As Kukuri uses Minisuchi, Kira protects herself and Kanzuya from the attack but she gets weakened. Kukuri launches another attack causing Kira to be unable to protect both of them. Suddenly, Kanzuya receives a dream of his mother giving him advice on what to do where she tells him to protect Kira. As Kanzuya reawakens, he finds himself being given CPR afterwards. He starts commanding Kira to fight. Meanwhile, Kokyuri launches various attacks causing Kanzuya to find it difficult to get grasp on her abilities. She ends up using Suzuru Mizuki, which Kanzuya is able to counter using a water weave. After the barrier is destroyed, Kanzuya finds Kira in the hands of Kokyuri, where she demands him to become an exorcist, to which he agrees. As the battle concludes, Kokori Zakuju falls off, causing her to transform into a childlike state where Kira mocks and bullies her in her new form. Shortly after Kanzuya, Kira and Chisato leave a shrine with Kanzuya carrying Kira home. At home, Kanzuya observes Kira, gets shrunken state and checks if she's injured causing her to tease him. Regardless, the two take baths and Kira remembers a past conversation she had with Kanaka. As she passed out, Kanzuya has her rest on his bed as he fans her. Eventually, he asks Kasuni for her older clothes, causing her to misinterpret it as part of him developing Susi interest. He then immediately calls Chisato for clothes as well, but she tells him she'd be unable to get them to him immediately. Now in a dilemma, he meets up with Osamu, who provides him with a needed clothes. Later, Kanzuya returns to his room with the clothes and also putting that he bought along the way. However, when Kira checks the clothes, the two find out that they are of Susi nature causing her to tease him about and wanting her to wear such Susi clothes. The next day at school, Osamu confronts Kanzuya about the clothes, asking if he had fun as Kanzuya attempts to clear up the misunderstanding. 